Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at my sort of new setup for the office. I just like to experiment a little bit. And to get us started, I'm also gonna be experimenting with a new web browser that is sort of in a developer preview type of state but it looks like there's gonna be some betas offered later on when it is getting closer to launch. There's also some, uh, I believe, daily builds where basically, in this case, Microsoft is releasing these builds as new changes are made to the browser, but I'm taking a look at the developer preview specifically of the upcoming Chromium-based Microsoft Edge browser, which will uh, presumably at least replace the old Edge browser once it's fully launched. And like you would expect, this is gonna remind you very much of Chrome or any other Chromium based browser that you've ever used. But I do wanna take a look at the developer preview available right now. I'll go ahead and link the developer channel down below too, so you can take a look at this Edge browser for yourself. It even said that a Mac version of this is incoming at some point. So without further ado, let's move on to the sponsor spot for the video, which is of course this time me, actually. Uh, some of you have asked in the past for some sort of merchandise. And while I'm not a huge merch fan, I did put together a Teespring campaign with some very basic shirts, hoodies, that sort of thing, as if you needed another logo that no one really knows what it is to wear. But hey, I think my logo looks pretty cool. It was professionally designed at least. So if you wanna get that merch, it is linked in the first link down below. And of course, it does help out the channel a lot. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button too. Okay, to get us started off here, we actually have both current versions of Edge available uh, up on the screen. Now on the left side is the actual version of Edge that you're probably most used to seeing if you're one of the people that uses it beyond just going to google.com slash chrome. Here is the Edge browser on the left and the new Chromium based one is on the right. And you'll notice, first of all, the aesthetics here are definitely different. Obviously, the Chromium based one does resemble very much Google Chrome here. Uh, so let's go ahead and just run some very basic unscientific tests to just kind of see where we sit with these browsers. So to get us started here, I'm just gonna kind of dabble with both of these browsers and give you some thoughts as I go along. So for both of them, I'm gonna be going to the same websites. I'm gonna start on the left with the old Edge browser going to a very non-controversial site, theverge.com. Here we are. Okay, that loaded reasonably quick. Uh, ad is still loading here. Oh, this is like a YouTube or Twitch or video ad of some sort. Okay, um, you know, it works, it's fine. No problem here. Seemed like the new one stuttered a little bit more, but the, the, the ad spot loaded much faster, but it's also not a video ad, so take that with a big giant grain of salt. Let's go to the nfl.com. I'll leave that typed in. I'm gonna try to hit the enter button as fast as possible between the two so that we can get a, at least a close speed comparison on how fast they're loading. Now I hit the enter button pretty quick, so it may just be imperceptible and it may be within the margin of error, but I feel like the right side did load a little bit faster. So we're gonna go to another uh, a site, uh, maybe NHL this time, but we're gonna start opposite, go left then right really quick. Yeah, so that's interesting because I hit enter first on the current Edge browser and then the right one actually loaded first. Fascinating, let's do it one more time. And once again, I'm gonna give the left side the advantage here of being hit enter first, though again, we're talking about a tiny second here. Yeah, so with our results here, and this is extremely unscientific again, but it is hard to uh, sort of argue the point that uh, the old Edge browser is faster because it's really just not. Uh, the, the new version is loading web pages uh, a little bit faster. In most cases, it's not a huge chunk faster, but at least with the, the sporting league pages that I've been picking here, uh, the new one is definitely faster. So you do get all of the, or at least not all of the, but most of the advantages of a Chrome-based 
web browser here. Now, Microsoft did strip out a lot of the Google-centric features of this browser, though it does sound like they've been working very closely with Google engineers to get this up and running. But basically what we're seeing here is Microsoft using Chromium and kind of admitting that it is a better platform to build a browser off of. And what I love about this is in the past, especially with Microsoft Internet Explorer, uh, Internet Explorer looked at code differently from different websites. So just because a website rendered one way on Chrome, Firefox, and basically everything else didn't necessarily mean it would render that way on Internet Explorer. And a lot of times, website design would require that you code in different uh, code depending on the web browser that's being used. I remember when I used to actually run my own sort of blog when I was writing about the NFL way back in the day, uh, CSS was used uh, differently for Chrome, Firefox, and those types of browsers than it was Internet Explorer because Internet Explorer saw it differently or just read it differently, however you want to say it. The website was displayed differently on Internet Explorer versus Google Chrome, and that was always a nuisance. But with this move, this should pretty much completely eliminate that is any kind of a major problem because the major web browsers outside of Mac Safari will for the most part be either on a Chromium base or on a very similar base to Chromium and they should all be looking at web pages more or less the same. Just for completionist sake, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Firefox here and we're gonna run the exact same test. This time we're gonna go to NASCAR. Again, I'm gonna give the advantage to the, uh, the Firefox uh, browser in this case. So once again, new edge wins. Let's try actual Google Chrome now. So this is interesting because I actually expect New Edge to win, and I'll run the test here in a second, but the reason for that is one of the reasons that Microsoft has stripped out some of the features that they have stripped out from the Chromium project to put into Edge is to get it to run just faster and more efficiently. So I actually expect New Edge to beat out real Google Chrome here uh, in this particular test. So once again, it looks like Edge has won. However, I do have extensions running here, which may have actually slowed down uh, Chrome as well, as aside from those services that I mentioned earlier that Microsoft has been uh, stripping out of the Chromium project so that their browser runs a little bit faster. All that's gonna affect us speed a little bit. Again, though, we're talking with even all these browsers, including the old Edge, we're talking about a small difference to begin with. So it's not like it's a deal breaker to run a different web browser than the new Edge browser. It just looks like the new Edge browser is indeed quite snappy. So that's really good to see if you're somebody that doesn't really trust Google, you don't want to use a sort of off-brand uh, browser such as uh, Firefox, though Firefox as far as off-brand browsers go is really strong. You don't really like to learn things like Vivaldi, maybe it's just too in-depth. You just want to stick with what the big player of your operating system is running with and if you're that way this new edge is coming towards you you could just adopt it early and it does look extremely snappy so this is really cool with the new edge and one of the things that opens up and i think this actually could have been one of the reasons microsoft sort of went this direction is now with the new edge you're not going to have to worry about an extension being developed for Microsoft Edge as well as Chromium because frankly on the desktop uh, situation here, you're gonna develop add-ons. If you're a company, you're gonna develop add-ons and extensions for the Chromium uh, project first because so many browsers, not just Google Chrome, are based around Chromium, but now with Edge being a Chromium-based browser as well, you're gonna have access to the Chrome Web Store. So with this banner here, it says allow extensions from other stores. We're gonna go ahead and click that and it's gonna prompt us and I will in fact allow that. So at this point, I should be able to add any of these extensions to my browser and be up and running and good to go. So the first extension I'm gonna go ahead and search for is, um, how about I go with an ad blocker because normally I do have that at least enabled to some degree on my uh, typical Chrome-based uh, browser, actually Chrome itself. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just click add to, uh, add to this uh, particular browser. It's not really Chrome, I guess, even though it says add to Chrome, it's actually add to Edge in this case, but it's installing my ad blocker, says it's done. Now let's go to another completely non-controversial site like, oh, I don't know, The Verge again. 
Let's see if it blocks the ads and does its job. And it's looking like it does. We have this little banner that you get from The Verge that says, oh my gosh, you blocked our ads, what can we do? So uh, that is in place there and it's doing its job. So we have a Chrome browser extension that's actually functioning on Edge. So we have a really snappy browser. Uh, since I've been testing, which is admittedly just a few minutes here, I've had absolutely no flaws as far as crashes go or anything like that. And in fact, everything I've read about this developer channel is that this Edge browser looks really solid to begin with. So it's probably gonna be pretty stable moving forward unless you're on, I would assume, the daily builds, maybe you'll get hit and miss. Uh, as they release new features or try out new code in the browser. But this thing is looking really, really solid. Uh, again, I'm gonna link this browser down below, but I'm really happy with this. This is actually for the first time in a really long time. This makes me think that maybe there's gonna be a significant p uh, amount of people, rather not significant people, but a significant amount of people that migrate back towards Microsoft's built-in browser once it is in the release of Windows 10 and it's actually there in place of Edge because it'll be good enough that you have access to everything you already want from something like Chrome. The only thing it doesn't let you do that Chrome really can do that I'm seeing at least from a functional end user standpoint is uh, I don't believe I can just straight up sign in as a, yeah, I just can't sign in with my Google account on the browser level, but obviously I can still sign into my Google services um, and still use bookmarks say, to get to everywhere I wanna go. So that's not even really that big of a deal. And I assume just like pretty much every browser, if you sign in with your Microsoft account, then your bookmarks and everything else are gonna follow you from Edge browser to Edge browser, which is where releasing on the Mac side actually is kind of nice too, though that's not available yet. We also have no idea how stable that will be. You would expect it to be pretty stable as well because it's also still Chromium based, but hopefully that comes out very stable as well. But I really have nothing but good things to say about the Microsoft Edge browser. Link down below. If you've tried it out, let us know down there as well what you think of this new browser. Do you like this direction or are you a little bit nervous that Microsoft is throwing its uh, browser hat in with uh, Google and its Chromium project? Uh, even though it is open source, which actually does provide a lot of uh, a sound peace of mind for most people, I would think. But let me know what you think about the project down below. And as always, if you like the video, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are extremely helpful to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. Again, links to the merchandise store are down there as well. Obviously, that does help out the channel a ton. And uh, yeah, I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware. I'm gonna let YouTube queue up some videos and I'm gonna get out of here.